The EU is seeking to create an all-island economy amid a row over the hated Brexit deal. Liz Truss announced earlier May plans to introduce legislation overriding parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol, which keeps the country in the EU single market and erects customs borders with the UK. The EU and Dublin have pushed back on the UK's attempts to change the protocol, with Brussels saying any act breaches international law. Daniel Hannan, advisor to the UK Board of Trade and former Conservative MEP, said on Twitter the EU's defence of the protocol is based on a lie. Dot. He added the EU's stated objectives, including keeping sausages out of Donegal, are not its real objectives, which are creating an all-island economy. He also said, the lie is as follows. The EU publicly maintains that its sole concern is for what it calls, the integrity of the single market. If so much as a single British pork pie were to cross into County Cavan, it insists, the customs union would be prejudiced and its common rules made worthless. Eurocrats have repeated this assertion so often that I think even they have, on some level, come to believe it. Naturally their British devotees, who allow no criticism of European institutions, treat the claim as holy writ, writing on conservative home, Mr. Hannan added, yet every time some sententious British Europhile starts chuntering about protecting the single market, or, the need for border checks somewhere, plumes of smoke rise from his pants. The protocol has nothing to do with these things. Its real purposes are never publicly stated, but they can be clearly inferred. It is designed to divert Northern Ireland's trade from Great Britain to the Republic of Ireland, so strengthening the case for a 32-county republic, to prevent the UK from gaining any commercial or competitive advantage over the EU, and, more generally, to give us a kicking for Brexit.